What is up guys, this is Guitar View Lesson number 186, the song Don't Let Me Down by the Chainsmokers featuring Daya. And first of all, the song is in standard tuning, so no worries there. So let's get started with the first melody right away. So we start by putting our first finger onto the ninth on the second string, and now we pick that twice. And the little secret here is that we palm mute in between each pick, so we use the palm of our right hand and put it down here on the strings after each pick. So we pick once, palm on, pick again, palm on. Just like that. So we do that twice. Now we put our second finger onto the 11th on the third string. Once. And now we put our third finger onto the 11th on the first string. Twice. So far we've got. Now once more, the 11th on the first string. Now second finger onto the 11th on the second string, pick it twice. Now once more, so three times. And then once more with sliding up, so in total four times the 11th on the second string. And as I said, we slide up the fourth time we pick it, so we pick it once. And then we just slide one fret up onto the 12th. So from here, just slide up onto here just like that now pick the 12th on the second string once slide back down onto the 11th and pick the 11th once and that is already the entire riff And now let's get to the pre-chorus, which is very, very similar because we play the exact same melody, but a bit lower. So we just go. So this time we start by putting our first finger onto the fourth on the fourth string and our third finger onto the sixth on the fourth string. So we pick the sixth on the fourth string twice. And we lift the third finger off, pick the fourth on the fourth string once. So we go. Now we just put our second finger onto the fourth on the second string right here. Go three times. As we know it from before. So, so far we've got. Now first finger onto the third on the third string, three times, and the fourth time we pick it, we slide up onto the fourth, so we go. Now pick the fourth on the third string once more, and once more the third on the third string. And that is already the entire pre-chorus. So before we jump into the chorus, let's get to the almighty chords that we can play throughout the whole first and pre-chorus, and they should sound like this. So we start by putting our first finger onto the 7th on the 5th string, 3rd finger onto the 9th on the 4th string and pinky onto the 9th on the 3rd string and be careful to mute the 6th string with your first finger. And now let's get to the rhythm. We go down, down, up, 
up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Now we just move one string up with each finger so we were here and now we are here with the first finger on the seventh on the sixth string, third finger on the ninth on the fifth string and pinky on the ninth on the fourth string and now we use the exact same rhythm. down onto the second and fourth on the sixth fifth and third string so first finger on the second on the sixth string third finger on the fourth on the fifth string and pinky on the fourth on the fourth string and slide two frets up onto the fourth and sixth on the sixth fifth and fourth string So now let's get right into the chorus and into the chorus melody, which should sound like this. So we start by putting our second finger onto the ninth on the second string and we pick that three times. Now third finger onto the tenth on the second string once and first finger once onto the seventh on the second string. So we go. Now second finger back onto the ninth on the second string and we go down, down, up and down. So and once the tenth and once the seventh. So far we've got now we go down, down up, down, down up, down, down up, down, so down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And tenth and seventh. And that is the first half of this chorus. And for the second half of this melody, I won't have to explain much because it's the exact same thing on the 11th, 12th and 9th on the 5th string. Because we use the exact same thing as and use the exact same rhythm. The only thing that changes is the string and the frets because now we are on the 5th on the 9th, 11th and 12th as I already mentioned but despite of that it's the exact same thing so that is already the whole chorus. So now let's get to the last part of the song which is the bridge and during the bridge we use the exact same chords as in the first and pre-chorus so we go we pick each of them once and that's the whole thing. So 7th, 9th on the 5th, 4th and 3rd string, 7th, 9th on the 6th, 5th and 4th string, 2nd and 4th on the 6th, 5th and 4th string, and 4th and 6th on the 6th, 5th and 4th string. But as I said, you should already know how to play this and this is also way easier than the 1st and pre-chorus because we only have to strum down once on each chord. 
and that is already the whole song and i hope you guys like this video leave a thumbs up if you did it helps me a lot keep on subscribing and if you want to stay up to date on what's going to be new on the channel and check out my facebook page link is down in the description and if you want to get a sweet discount on all of the games for all of the consoles check out g2a.com link is down there as well and if you really want to support the channel, link to my Patreon page down there as well. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.